Hello and welcome back to Gamber Nation. I'm Jackie and I am glad you're here, fellow citizens. We are playing Fallout 4, literally right where we left off, digging through memories of Kellogg, trying to find any information that we can about the Institute and how to get there. Nothing and since like they keep blathering on and on in, the, in his mind. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I think if I step just... away, they'll stop talking. Not quite sure where I'm supposed to go next, looking through his memories. Aha! Oh, that's the one connected to that. The doctor will tell me. I'm sifting through the neurons and the neural pathways of a cybernetic brain. Well, now what am I supposed to do? This one and that one. Was this a new one? No. That's old, they're just gone. I didn't see where else there was to go, did you? Traveling. Oh, I see one down there to the right. Down there. Can I get down there? What's happening? I just keep walking around and s maybe I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I knew I should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque. Uh, maybe I have to step off this one and go this way. Ah, here we go. Aha, aha. No, that's the old one. But I'll do it again though. Go step Are off you this. Sure these guys know That's what I meant to do. Yeah. Gets a little confusing up here in all of this gray matter. Which actually appears to be purple. But it's cybernetic, probably, so. Okay, who are you? How did you think this was gonna You're end? You're Kellogg, Kellogg with hair. That's who you are. <laughs> Kellogg with you hair. You could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you. Just so you know. This is really cool, by the way. This like is so dogs. cool. This concept. And I love you it. Weren't there to help them. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I found another memory to try. Thank I'll you. Is it this one? Nick and I are doing the brain work together. Because we're buds. Okay, here we go. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. Bartender. Wastelander. Anybody of these? I didn't care where I was going. There's his first scar. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Any so, of these people um, important? I hear you'll take. I don't remember much from that time. It all care of people's problems. Is that there was always a job for If you pay me. I'm in a hurry. Oh. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just. Okay. We'll pay you. So they're going to pay him to uh, kill somebody because that's what he does. Himself? That's his job. That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? He does well, have a cool voice. It's like this. actor. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Yeah. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Oh, try this next one. That didn't take long. Try what next one? This one? Don't fall! Where do you fall if you fall off a brain? I mean, where do you land? In the guts and get digested. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided uh, to meet with me. We're getting close. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. That synth is missing and a jaw. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? 
If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. You're getting old. I don't old. think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Don't shoot me. I'm just a I'm just a thought process. I don't even actually exist. Well, hmm. impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. You should have seen him One back when he had hair. Tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Uh, well, I, I don't think he oh, has. There's one that looks mostly intact. Much brain. Connecting now. Where? Where am I going? Where? Ah. It's very dark. It's very dark. Don't start without me. I'm hurrying. Don't start without me. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. Oh, this suspended. is going to be tough, isn't it? Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Oh, this is actually Hopefully it's all just for me. Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Oh, man. Here's where we find out. I kind of don't want to do this. Isn't that surprising? It's hard to see. What? That's. Hey, I was actually. One. I was pounding. Here. Backup subject, access oh. memory. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre war vault dweller, even if she somehow got thought out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. It. I'm not sure where that memory is. So he's trying to get back at the Institute, then. Scientist? Big heads never like taking orders from... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Uh, according to who? Okay, primary subject. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not Wait, saying I'm I confused. Done. Who's the primary subject? The, hu the... Everything's going to be fine. Okay. Hubby? So they I'm just want Hubby's genetic kid. material? Is that CK? I'm not saying I haven't done it, but... Sorry, I'm trying to decide if... Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I got him! Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! Oi, what am I doing in there? Am I God freaking out, damn. I hope? Because that's what I was doing. Get the kid out of here. Freaking Let's out. go. Okay, he is the primary well, subject. Which I have been saying all say along, because he said, it, but, uh, at least we have a backup. So I don't do. think it's the child specifically. But it was better this way. But the fact better that he had kid, material him alive. genetically. At least we still have I'm the backup. To... See? Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Why can't I get a memory about the baby? What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. Big heads never liked. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah. I found another intact memory. That was actually the really tough. Away. And I think they killed people on the way out, is, is what I am to surmise from that, I think. <sighs> okay. Mr. Kellogg, Back I'm glad here? you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. No, this is an old one. I wanted to see for my... That was an old one. Are we done? 
I was now the Institute's main oh. operator in the Commonwealth. Is it back here? Oh yeah, there it is. Let me out! I went the wrong way out the memory. Because I was emotionally distraught. Oh, look. There is he that is. your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. I can't see him. Access memory. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. <sighs> I tell you, this is a great but no concept, but it's tough, isn't it, emotionally? I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. <sighs> so the kid in Diamond City... This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate... Was Sean. Man's. Seems obvious so how now old is Sean? It seems like they did kind the of come out around the same... Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I'm, I'm confused about the timeline. me in the end. Another loose end tied up. I mean, he looks, what, ten? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying she's right, but... Well... Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. Hurry One up. of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's the his glowing file. sea. Map update. Map update. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So. Wow. I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your why? only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Why did he have the child to begin with? And why? My father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Oh dear. Is he gonna kill him? X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I Sean hope I looks see you again strangely too. out of disproportionately. Bye. Like a grown up person shape just shrunk down. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Here's the other thing that will be infuriating if I I find Sean just in time for him to die or something. Oh, yeah. I can do this though. I can do it. What am I doing? What's happening? Oh. Oh, cool. Piper's really done it this time. The mayor's gonna be mad at Trevor. Travis. Travis. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Drunk. A little dehydrated, kind of bloated. Oh, is that it? I feel uh, fine. I'm okay, doctor. I almost said awful, but... <laughs> Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you 
Ready to talk about what happened in there? Yeah, we got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. <laughs> but that we only did leads that. to more questions. How does it work? Where yeah. do we go next? Virgil? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to, we find, need to him. find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Oh dear. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Unless he's a synth. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off Sounds good and to be me. at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I think my power armor will... How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. That's a sealed environment enough. suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. I have one of those. That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. Oh, By the way, her voice changed. I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. <laughs> the vault boy in the dangerous minds thing is bouncing a brain in his hand. Okay. Well, <sighs> to the glowing sea. Can I take these? No accounting for taste. It's purple, so I get to take them. I don't know that I need the dirty water, although I did, like I said, I put a um, mod on my suit. Ooh, yay! Nice. Oh, it's a game. That's fun. I don't have to much take time to play the games, but... Anyway, I put a mod on my radiation, um, on my, no, on my power armor that um, scrubs the reds out of food and stuff. So, that will come in handy. And I'm thinking the only person, the only companion that could follow me into the glowing sea would be Nick as a cyber person. So, uh, I might have had to drop my other so that's what we were sitting in my uh, drop my other companions anyway cigarettes red X okay I think I got everything I can get is everything s no that's still stealing upstairs upstairs Nick Upstairs, upstairs? Uh, pardon my swinging around so fast. Okay. I just, I'm not sure where everybody is. Oh! There he is. Hey, Valentine. Well. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. Oh, no. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Oh, dear. Kellogg. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? <sighs> you sounded like Kellogg just then. Did yeah. I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic Which is okay, as long as he doesn't over. change completely. Anyway, I had I a feeling fine, something like so that let's would get happen, going. So. Okay, um... We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm... 
I'm a synth, See? so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian you angel you you're come looking with me for. Because he's a synth. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. I also might Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. I think I have Let's a few see where more it mods takes us next. to the suit that I might be able to do that will increase my radiation resistance in it. So, but anyway, I'm going to call that for now before we step off into another section uh, that may drag on for some time. Plus, I'm going to take the time to see what I can do to mod my power armor even more radiation resistant. So. That was fun, walking around in brains, and I have a feeling we're going to hear from Kellogg on and off throughout the whole thing, but that's okay, as long as Nick, we don't lose him entirely. As long as we don't lose him entirely. Also, in a secret way, it's kind of satisfying to know that Kellogg is somehow cognizant of the fact that I kicked his ass. Thank you for joining me for some more Fallout 4 for some gameplay and sharing a cuppa. And come back again for more Fallout 4. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, Kellogg. You got what you deserved, you jerk. Ooh. Jeez, I almost spit out my teeth. Um, shouldn't we be going... Down in the vault. Oh God. Oh God. Uh.